Pearl Yacht has carved out something of a niche for itself among the bigger British yacht brands as a low volume, high quality boutique yacht builder. And their latest addition to the fleet, the Pearl 62, is the new entry level model in a lineup that includes the 80, the 90, and very soon the 72. As always, naval architecture and exterior styling is by Bill Dixon, interior design is by Kelly Hoppen, and now is the first time she's been exhibited in the water. We're at the Cannes Boat Show, so let's go on board and have a look. Starting here on the aft platform, under the transom we have a garage with room for a small tender or a jet ski, which completely frees up the hydraulic swim platform which both extends and drops down into the water. There is the option, however, of having a crew cabin instead of a garage. And I believe the last two 62s that Pearl delivered to the US, for example, had that option with a single crew berth. The sort of design detail that sets Pearl yachts apart are these rather arty stainless steel mooring cleats and there's also a winch which is always a useful addition when you're tensioning the lines. The layout of the cockpit is fairly familiar for this type and size of vessel with a wraparound sofa, teak dining table and a couple of director's chairs. The glass doors into the galley folds away completely against the staircase leading to the flybridge. And on the other side, we have a window that drops down to create a bar unit between the galley and the open aft deck. Lots of work surfaces here in the galley, in this case Corian, but it can also be marble, a lift out chopping board in the sink, Miele appliances, bespoke slots for the cutlery, more storage under here for the crockery. This boat is set up with this breakfast table in the corner, which has proved the most popular choice, but there's also the option to have a full-size dining table, but you necessarily lose a little bit of space in the lounge as a result. Here we start to get a taste for Kelly Hoppen's interior design, which manages to be both casual and relaxing, as well as cool and sophisticated. There are three interior style themes for the Pearl 62, modern, indulgence and luxury like this one, all of which can incorporate materials ranging from calicata marble to suede so that owners can choose a style that best suits their own tastes. A key feature of the 62 is that Pearl wanted separate access to the master suite amidships. And keep in mind that this is the only boat in its class that has four guest cabins. And so you have a dog leg staircase with a handy grab rail and a window. So it's not just a pokey stairwell. Owner suite, I think, is rather lovely with these floating bedside tables, pop out reading lights, plenty of power sockets, and this cozy dinette, which is likely to get a lot more use than the chaise longue. And notice also no steps in the floor, completely flush. Good headroom, and of course, in the bathrooms, you have a choice of Corian granite or marble wet surfaces. Access to the guest accommodation is from the forward staircase, which again is illuminated by this huge overhead windscreen and comprises two twin single cabins with infill cushions so they can become double beds. One has an ensuite bathroom, which doubles as a day head, and the ensuite VIP cabin is in the bow with good floor space, a low bed so you don't feel that you have to climb onto it, and the skylight that serves as an escape hatch onto the foredeck. So the new Pearl 62 uh, is the smallest in the, in the current range. 
And the idea with the 62 was to follow on the success that we had uh, many years ago with the uh, old Pearl 60, uh, which was an aft cabin design but incorporated four guest cabins. Uh, and we wanted to reinvent that success in a more modern style with a flybridge yacht. Uh, and the 62 has, uh, has certainly done that. So four guest cabins, uh, of which a forward master cabin, um, plus a jet ski garage uh, or crew cabin. The flybridge is surprisingly spacious for a yacht of less than 20 metres. Opposite the helm position we have a bench seat but with the addition of a filling cushion it becomes another sun pad. The hardtop is not actually a standard feature, but every 62 ordered so far has had one and it's not difficult to see why. Because with the soft middle section, you can either open it up for the sunshine or have it closed for more shade. Amidships, we have a dinette with dining table and wet bar opposite with fridge, grill and sink. And this aft section can be laid out pretty much according to customer choice. In this case, we have these corner sofas and these storage poofs, which can take another cushion to become sunbeds. For us, the design of the Pearl is all about putting the whole concept together. That is from the hull design through trying to create the volumes, how to put together the volumes inside the boat, the layout. We, we want to be slightly different from the offering from other builders, and that's a real challenge. So it's all a matter of taking the pearl styling and branding forward on every boat, and also the challenge of doing something new, which is always interesting. Driving the Pearl 62, you're very conscious of this huge windscreen overhead. I think it must be the biggest windscreen of any boat in her class, which makes you feel as if you're on the outside, although you're protected on the inside. Of course, you do have pull-down sunscreens in case you need a little bit of shade. This unit is powered by twin 900 horsepower Volvo Penta IPS drives for a top speed of 32 knots at around 2,300 RPM, although there is the option of smaller 800 horsepower drives. At a cruising speed of 23 or 25 knots, that's around 2,000 RPM, she has a range of 200 nautical miles, but cut the speed and drop the revs down to an economical 10 knots, and the range picks up to around 600 nautical miles. She's also a very quiet boat. We're traveling at the moment at over 20 knots and the noise and vibration is minimal and that's partly due to the fact that the IPS drives are way back in the stern. To sum up, the Pearl 62 is first and foremost a family cruiser, but her sporty looks and performance means that she will appeal to owners who want to have fun driving their boat as well. And Pearl Yachts has another incentive up their sleeve, a comprehensive five-year warranty. Now that is unique. Thank you.